In today's shave, we're going to be using the Occam's Nano Razor. And I'm going to wet the face. I'm going to be using the Simpson T3 brush and this beauty is a 26 millimeter synthetic knot and I'm going to go ahead and wet it even though we don't have to I do enjoy doing that and today's soap is going to be Sterling's Piacenza if you guys haven't smelled this soap it definitely has a citrusy kind of floral scent and uh, it has amber and musk in there as well. Kind of smells like that uh, Parma cologne that I've used in the past. I'll put a scent description right there. And I will be using the matching aftershave. And this is the, I want to say Oakham's, but they want to say it's Occam's razor. And this is the Nano version. It's the one with the revised head. I do have the uh, blade already loaded up in there. Um, I was going to try to do it where I show you how to use this little key and it's kind of fiddly. So I'm just going to show you, um, the blade I'm using is the feather professional artisan club style blade. So you're going to take this blade and set it in this little tray here and it's got a little recessed key that kind of grabs it and then they tell you to choke up right behind it so it'll sit there and then you you have to push it in there well if you look at the um because it's it's an adjustable so you can just change out the top cap of that actual uh razor and it has these little i always want to point with my middle finger which is bad <laughs> it has these little tabs right here that locks the blade into place so as it's sitting there and you slide that in. The one thing that I question about this is you have to slide it in there and it, those little tabs lock into that. But when you go to do that, so let's just pretend the rest of the razor is sticking out this way. It has to slide in. Maybe if you can see it there. When it goes in, that blade actually hits the those little tabs and then locks into place here and I'm going to say that's the culprit for me getting some some uh, irritation right here because I have used both of those razors and uh, I don't know <laughs> I'm not real uh, it, it for right now I'm not going to say I like it uh, I'm not going to say I dislike it probably need to re-wet the face here but I'm, I'm, I'm not sure we're going to use the old glycerin soap as my pre-shave. Probably should have wet that a little bit. All right. We do have that soap already in the Lancaster bowl. And I'm just going to shake out some of that water and do some lathering here as I bump my gums so i don't know like i said i've used that blade in other uh razors like the blackland saber no the vector and i had excellent shaves with that uh that blade i know it's a little bit different style razor head but with the open comb or the solid bar both worked well i've tried three different feather blades other than just this uh pro blade so i'm kind of leaning towards razor design or those tabs and so the reason i didn't show loading that blade today is because i loaded it from the front uh, and then that way the razor edge didn't have to go across those little retaining bumps in there I'm going to call this good for right now on my lather. <clears throat> and with this brush being the 
the larger knot, it definitely covers a lot more area on the face quickly. As with the uh, Sterling soap, they're very generous at giving you the 5.8 ounces. And that is a tallow and lanolin base on that soap, which I do enjoy. I think I said in one of the past videos, I need to get the unscented soap, put it in a bowl, and then take another unscented soap that is a vegan base. And instead of doing a shave off between two razor blades, uh, actually try that out and just do half of my face with uh, one of the soaps. And uh, that way it's kind of a blind test and I won't know which one's which. What do you think? Sounds like a, a fun experiment. Okay, so I have that blade already loaded and uh, I'm just going to wet the razor. And I could tell sometimes, you know, when you shake that, my hearing's not that great, but the, uh, the blade just kind of sits in there and there's no real friction. It's just the tension of those little uh, tabs that hold it in place. And uh, so you can hear that blade rattling. Let's go ahead and get the shave on. And the one thing I did forget to mention on this particular razor is I do have the one dot plate in there. I have used the two dot, which is the medium, uh, and then the three dot, which is the aggressive. And this one is the mild setting. And one thing I can point out with these Artisan Club blades the width of that blade is not quite one and a half times but it covers your face uh really quickly as you're shaving can you hear that got two days worth of growth I have noticed that with this razor compared to some of the other razors, uh, I feel like I have to apply a little bit more pressure. If not, it seems to be a little t on the tuggy side. And that may also be help contributing to the razor burn in my sensitive areas. Razor has no problem rinsing out, which is nice. It's Sunday, and I'm Matthew, and we're doing a shave. <laughs> How did your weekend go, guys? We went out on the pontoon yesterday. It was very nice. It wasn't too hot. The weather has cooled off a little bit for us. So that was that was very nice. Uh, but getting out of the water, it was almost a little chilly. It was 84 degrees. And uh, <laughs> even though it was nice and cool, something about that water just evaporating off the skin really quickly made it a little bit cool but the, the ride back on the boat was nice i enjoy those nice days my wife's telling me that there's probably not a whole lot of nice days left to go out on the boat but i do not concur <laughs> i'll i'll take the boat out all the way into november until you're like it's time for a coat <laughs> but it's very nice it's very nice out here <laughs> we're gonna go across the green I don't know if you can hear it, but the, the blade, you can hear a little bit of the blade chatter. 
And uh, some people recommend giving that blade a little bit of flex so it has some extra tension in there. But I'm not going to do that. I hear my dog barking upstairs. Since I record through my phone, I always have to turn my phone on airplane. That was a pleasant surprise. I had my mom come by, haven't seen her in a little while, and did a little Sunday morning visit. Well, went ahead and rinsed my face. I will do the ice cube aftershave routine that I have. And I will say, uh, that after I had switched the, or <clears throat> had loaded the blade from the front, I could tell a difference. I did get the Black Sheep Lancaster towel. This is one of their newer ones. And if you look at uh, one of my older ones, the only thing I can tell a little bit of a difference, the, uh, the buckle here or the clasp is bigger. You can see that. It doesn't change the performance, but I do kind of like that added touch. I love those towels. If you don't have one, you're missing out. All right, and I do have the matching aftershave splash in the glacial edition. I might need a little extra. Think about that. And no shave is complete without the star jelly. Let me know below if you have one of those razors. Welcome. Do you have the original one or the new one? The Nano? Let me know, what do you think? How does it shave? Rinse my hands here. And that's going to do it for my shave today. I will have a picture right here with everything I use. A little piece of lint. <laughs> OCD. Uh, but anyway, that was my shave for the day. I think I will continue with some testing on this particular razor. Uh, if you have this one, the uh, new one, or the, uh, the original, let me know what plate do you like. One dot, two dot, three dot. Does it give you any kind of irritation? I'm going to see. This is my troubled areas that, uh, that I have troubles with. So, And that's, uh, you know, the areas that I do have to kind of pay attention with different razors. And uh, this razor here definitely excites those areas. So i got to be a little bit more precautious. And I'm trying to figure out, is it the blade? Is it the razor? Uh, I'm going to say it's going to be with the uh, razor itself. Uh, I may do a showdown with uh, this one versus the other one in an upcoming video. If uh, that sounds like something you'd like to watch, let me know. And if you are a new subscriber, thank you. Or if you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, I appreciate you guys coming back and watching another video. I'm not sure what I'm going to do uh, for the next one on Will It Shave Wednesday. If you have a request, let me know. Comment below. You guys have a good week.